Okay, what's up YouTube? It's been a long time since I've done a video. It's November 17th. That means it's been like, I'm thinking at least six months since my last video. And these SPIM08HP cells have been sitting here since that time. I haven't done anything with them. They've just been sitting here. I don't know if they're puffy. I haven't really been in the garage. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity just to kind of follow up and see what's going on. So, uh, okay, so there's the light's not very good. That's because I haven't turned these guys on. I don't know what voltage these are at. When I left them, I set the IMAX uh, over onto uh, storage mode to charge them up just to, you know, for appropriate storage. They've been sitting here all summer. So I haven't turned them on. I don't know. It's going to be an exciting opportunity to see did they lose any voltage? How are they doing? I'm super disappointed I haven't been able to um, make any progress on my commuter car, but it has been a crazy, busy, ridiculous year. So before I turn the lights on, which turns these guys on, and I think it'll show us the voltage, I thought I'd get this guy out. And let's see how they're doing. So you probably won't be able to see, maybe you will, I'll put it right there. So let's start with cell number one, negative, positive, 3.77 volts, negative, positive, cell number two, 3.78, cell number three, 3.77, wow, this is really impressive, cell number four, 3.78. Eight. Cool. So that's what the voltmeter says. Let's go ahead and turn the light on and get these IMAX guys going. Ha! It's not plugged in. Okay, through the magic of editing, I'll try it again. Nice. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to use these guys. Um... Battery meter, Let's start. Three, okay, so this, these are a little bit off from my, this guy, close though. So battery one, 3.74, battery two, 3.75. Battery three, uh, 3.75, battery four, 3.74. This one looks kind of sad, what's going on here? Oh, it must be just right in between. So let's go over here. Let's check the resistance since we're here. This guy over here is 21, 21, 6, 12, and 18, which isn't terrible, I don't think. We'll compare them to what it was at the beginning of the year, or earlier in the year at least. Okay, so I'm going to stop. And the only thing I wanted to do was, I'm just going to put these back at the storage voltage, which I think they're actually at already. So let's go find out. Start. Storage. So we store at 3.8. So they've lost a tiny bit. So I'm going to go to start that guy and then figure out where this guy goes. Oh, enter. Oh, nope. Shit. What did I have done? There we go. LiPo, start. And we're going to go to storage. So let me do this one too. storage. So we're going to start these guys. So these guys are going to go up. We'll just see how much we put in here. So let's get these two out. And we're going to go to LiPo start storage. Oh, they're still on 2S. So we're going to get... God, I'm so rusty. There we go. 1S, storage. We're both at storage, both LiPo, start. Okay. 
And over here, you can note that it's already slowing down, so it's about topped off, which makes sense because it was, well, depending on which meter, about right. So again, these are eight amp hour cells, but they're actually taking more than eight amp hours. Like they, they discharge, they charge and discharge more than eight amp hours. So I think eight amp hours is a, a low, um, a low ball, right? Just to make sure that battery hookups covered, which I think is great. Correctly set our expectations. Um, but I don't think these are going to charge for very long. I'm just curious about how many milliamp hours they will take since they've been hanging out here in the garage. It was hot this summer. It actually got a little bit cold. We had an early um, early cold snap here this fall. So yeah, so we're just gonna just gonna hang out. I'm gonna put my multimeter back and I bet it, they won't charge for very long. This, this guy's already at 3.81. So <clears throat> I'm gonna put this back. I'm just gonna let the let the thing run. Okay, we're back. So one, two, three, four, all done. First one took 275 milliamp hours. Second one took 344 milli milliamp hours. Third, 341. And fourth, 406 milliamp hours. First one took 40, 40 minutes, 26 seconds. 39 minutes, 34 seconds. 38 minutes, 41 seconds. And then this guy took forever at 47.31. So that's that. I do want to test the voltage one more time. Just curious about how they're not the same. Um, super quick. Here we go. Negative, positive. 3.81. I know you can't see this. 3.83. Three point eight two. Three point eight three. Very close. Okay, I'm happy. I'm gonna put this back. The other thing I'm interested in is these uh, pouch cells tend to be. Sometimes they puff, and some folks were talking about how they how some of them have puffed, and I haven't looked at these. This guy is perfect. This guy is perfect. This one. Perfect. This last one. Beautiful. Perfect. Still impressed. Um, I don't think that's a major loss considering they've been sitting out here in the garage. We're in the Midwest. It gets hot. Um, probably got up 80, 90 degrees in here. Um, maybe even 100 a couple days. Um, and it's good. It's Everything's fine. Less all but one of them uh, was under 400 milliamp hours of loss over the course of the entire summer. That's a tiny fraction. I think these guys are good. So anyway, it's getting cold. These guys are going back inside with their 200 and some odd friends that I need to cycle. And that's that. Thanks for watching.